Hey Philosophy, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I am getting so excited about my ideas for Philosophy. When I first proposed it, has it been a month already? I didn't, I was kind of playing with the idea, and I was honestly expecting someone to tell me that it had already been done. But apparently not, because no one has told me that, and none of my searching has revealed that. So I'm going to go with it. Calico talked about it in her latest video and made me realize I never quite explained what I have in mind, and I should probably do that. I'm putting it in its own video, so if anybody's looking for it, they can find it easily and not wade through a whole bunch of shopping updates and product project updates and everything else to get to it. It's here. So my idea kind of started with Halloween 2020 is maybe not going to be what we want our typical Halloween to be. I know that our plans for going out and doing things are not going to happen. I don't know if those events have been canceled. I do know we're not going if they aren't canceled. So I got to thinking we don't have to give up on Halloween. There's lots of stuff that we can do in our own homes by our lonesomes and share with our buddies online, especially those of us who stitch and sew and make things. We can put up our decorations and we can make spooky projects and watch scary movies. So what my plan is, I want to do a little Flossoween video every few days. I'm aiming for every other day. Realistically, it may be every three or four days. I'm not planning anything with firm deadlines this year. It just, no, I'm not. I would love to do a video for you guys every single day, but on a good year, that would be a push I'm not sure I could manage. This year, no. So among my ideas, I want to do a parade of Halloween projects that I cross-stitched before I started the Tube channel. I want to pull out some abandoned UFOs that have spooky Halloween ties. I've got some books hopefully I can get my hands on to do flip-throughs that are Halloween themed. Bats and skeletons and ghosts and things that go bump in the night and all of that. And I've got some Halloween smalls that I want to FFO. I think I'm going to be making all the project bags because over the years I have collected so much pretty Halloween fabric that I am terrified to cut into. This is not all of it, not by any stretch of the imagination, but I've got some ideas for bags and I've got some ideas for bags that I think might make for interesting tutorials, so those are coming. I've got one, I, at least one that I know you have never seen the likes of. And then today at Dollar General, I found these window clings. I don't have a good window to display them on, but I've got a Flossoween project in mind for them, and I think it's going to be exciting if it works with fabric the way that I think it looks in my head when I imagine it. So if you want to jump in and join me, I'm going to suggest we use the hashtag Flossoween. Um, I'm going to be put, doing videos here on YouTube, and if I get organized enough, putting stuff on my blog and on Instagram. However you want to jump in that works for you, do that. <laughs> I can't wait to see what everybody else comes up with, because I love the creepy stuff. I love Halloween and haunted houses, and especially Halloween cross-stitch and fabric, because it's amazing. Some of it. Most of it. I have met a few Halloween projects I didn't like, but that's okay. And I think that that kind of sums up the vision I have in my head. I'm not telling you everything I have planned because some of it I may not be able to pull off and some of it I want to leave a few surprises. Oh, another, I'm sure I'm going to make be making some Halloween themed needle minders. I, if I get really ambitious, we'll pull out the polymer clay because I've got some ideas for that. I just lay awake at night brainstorming what I could do. And we'll see between now and October 31st what I manage. Thank you so much for watching. If you've decided you want to play along with me, leave a comment down below. You don't have to. Just jump in if when 
you decide the time is right. I am going to start posting September 15th is my plan. And I'm going to space out my videos a bit and intermix them with my regular content because I know some of my bestest friends in the whole world are not into Halloween and I don't want to abandon them for a whole month or month and a half. And, you know, I can't handle all the Christmas videos when Christmas comes, so if you want to skip the Halloween stuff, do that. I will see you later in the non-Halloween videos. It's hot, I'm tired, I've been grocery shopping all day, but I wanted to get this filmed and posted so that you guys can start brainstorming with me. I cannot wait for October, which you know since I'm jumping ahead to mid-September. and My brain is already in October. I can't seem to accept the fact that it's still only August. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.